Hey guys, this is Harshit Devedi and in this video friends, I am going to tell you about ethanol blending in petrol or gasoline. Previously, I told you about methanol blending. In this video, I am going to tell you about ethanol blending. The biggest difference is, is in the definition between ethe, definition of ethanol and methanol. What is the definition of ethanol? Ethanol is produced from biomass, mostly via fermentation process using glucose from sugars, starch, cellulose as raw materials. In this form, it is renewable. That means, sir, Friends, that in methanol told you that methanol is prepared from natural gas, coal and biomass. But ethanol is proposed, uh, prepared via fermentation process derived from sugars, that is sugar cane, sugar beet, molasses, then starch which consists of corn, wheat, grains and cellulose that are forest products. These are the raw materials. Now here comes a catch friends. There has been a you know, revulsion against the use of ethanol. In as a substitute for petrol and gasoline why because ethanol is basically produced from food products no matter it is molasses sugar cane the point is that if ethanol blending will be adopted you know uh, this is basically a food product okay uh, some of them are edible food products some of them are non-edible food products food products no matter what it is obviously if you are going to use it as a fuel for energy source then what will happen if you are going to produce, you know, this uh, sugar cane and sugars and starch and forest products for blending in petrol, what will happen? That that production area, it will use to replace those uh, crops that we consume as human beings. We know that uh, our food security, the food security of the world is in danger because global warming is increasing, yield is decreasing and uh, agriculture practices around developing worlds are not very good. So. Obviously, there is a huge pressure you now on the governments to meet the food security. And in this thing, if we are going to produce ethanol, that is uh, petroleum product, uh, petroleum product substitute with the help of you know food products, then obviously it is going to affect our food security. So this is a debate which is going on, and what comes out of the debate is a matter of time. What is going to come, what is not. At this point of time, ethanol is being considered as a very effective petroleum substitutes to reduce the emissions now we'll get to know what are the you know advantages of ethanol that you are going to know now what are the disadvantages why there is a revulsion i have already told you then comes benefits of ethanol first is the energy security now india is the fourth largest producer of ethanol in the world if we are going to blend our petrol with 10 percent of ethanol then india can save 80 million liters of petrol annually Obviously, if we are going to save 80 million liters of petrol annually, then we can deploy it for other purposes. And obviously, our demand of import of petroleum products from foreign countries will be less. So obviously, our energy security will be a bit more, you know, safeguarded through it. Even in the United States in 2015, you know, in 2015, United States imported 24% of the petroleum that it consumed. And if United States would have would not have been using ethanol blending in its fuel, then it would have to import 32% of the petroleum that it consumed. So obviously, blending ethanol, uh, blending petroleum or we can say gasoline in USA. So blending gasoline with ethanol in USA, you know, restricted its imports to 24% of which of what it consumed. If USA would not have used ethanol blending, then it would have imported 32% of the petroleum that it used. So obviously it is a big saving. Coming forward, what is the effect of ethanol blending on rural economy and environment? First, we are going to see on the rural economy. Obviously, if we see in the context of India, then obviously ethanol production is directly related to sugarcane. And obviously, if ethanol demand will increase, then sugarcane demand will increase. If sugarcane demand will increase, its price will increase. And obviously, if the price will increase, then the farmer that is growing that sugarcane is going to get more money and rural prosperity will be there. It is very simple. For example, in developed countries where ethanol is used, obviously that ethanol is produced in the rural areas of those developing countries so ethanol production in the rural areas in even in de developed countries or in developing countries is going to produce job okay and that will you know reduce unemployment in that country so rural economy is anyway going to be affected positively by ethanol blending then comes the environment now how ethanol blending is environmentally sustainable ethanol also you know emits uh, this uh, uh, in gases like CO2, CO and uh, other. Now the point is that ethanol is prepared from you know food products like starch, sugar cane, forest produce that I have already told you. Now obviously when those food products were going they would have consumed CO2. 
in their formation and now when they are being blended with petrol and burned they are releasing co2 so obviously 15 suppose we are blending 10 percent of the ethanol or suppose you are blending 15 percent of the ethanol so obviously 15 percent of the emission of that fuel okay that is not from petroleum sources suppose we mine out petroleum from the ground and we burn it so population is uh, pollution is going on now the co2 which is being emitted now that was stored in the form of petroleum you know and now what is happening that when we are burning ethanol we are releasing that co2 which has been consumed from the atmosphere by that plant when it was growing ethanol is produced from a plant and that plant while growing consumed co2 for its formation and obviously that co2 which was consumed by that plant is now emitted in the atmosphere after the burning of the petrol in that petrol the ethanol was blended so obviously this is you know sort of balancing the cycle of the co2 which is being consumed by the plant when it was growing now that plant was converted into ethanol ethanol blended to petrol and when petrol got burned that ethanol got converted into co2 so that becomes a co2 cycle so this is how ethanol blending is useful for the environment this is people say second thing that less emissions will be there obviously ethanol is uh, the emission quantity from ethanol is less when compared to the petroleum products so when um, less emissions will be there there will be cleaner hair cleaner hair means healthier people they will suffer less from rest, uh, respiratory disease if less respiratory disease will be there mortality rates will decrease healthcare visits will decrease and obviously the cost of healthcare will also decrease and you know if the cost of healthcare will increase then the efficiency of human resource will increase as absenteeism in the office will not be there and performance will be improved because human development indicator, indicator that is health of that particular individual is improved so this is basically ethanol blending friends i told you the advantages of ethanol blending i told you that both of these things i have already told you uh, i hope you have liked this lecture so friends thank you for watching my video and uh, if you have liked this video then comment on it like it share it subscribe to my channel if you have doubts then ask it in the comment section thank you for watching my video have a nice day friends goodbye